I think we're on. Yeah, fantastic. Well, this is a first for me. <laughs> Bit out of my comfort zone. Zone. <laughs> Not only in doing something for the first time, but uh, using this technology. I haven't done it before, and it's working perfectly. Fantastic. Even have my daughter um, lend me her ring light so that uh, I can see down here. I'm down in the dungeons in the cellar. Um, it's the only place I can get a little bit of peace and quiet. So I'm hoping that you can all hear me. Um, not sure how to read, whether there's people on or watching at the moment. Can't see anybody at, at the moment. Um, if anybody's out there, give me a thumbs up. Let me know whether you can hear me, see me properly. Uh, if not, be a bit of an encouragement. Ah, we've got somebody on there now. Um, no names up there. Can't quite tell. Whoever it is there that's watching, give me the thumbs up so that I can see that you're you're there and you can hear me okay. I'll just have a look on here. So why have I come on here? Well, I'll just have a little bit of a, a background uh, while perhaps we get more people on uh, watching. Um, I've come on to share share with you uh, the promises of God. Um, I did a series over the holidays, um, 100 names of God, and for each day for 100 days I shared an attribute of God. Um, so just uh, for me personally and for anybody who was interested, uh, in knowing God a little bit better, getting to know him, that God isn't just God. God um, has all sorts of qualities to him. And uh, for me, that was quite a, a good study uh, into him. And if you get to know God and get to know who he really is, then that'll open up a whole new revelation um, of God for yourselves. So um, I've done that. If you want to check that out, that's on YouTube. And today, uh, in fact, I'm going to probably do one every week. I'm not sure how long I'm going to be on for. Um, it's not going to be uh, length, but I'm going to do or I'm going to explore the promises of God. Um, I'm going to look at uh, the promise. He, shall ne you, he will never leave you nor forsake you. Uh, I'll start talking properly in, in about five minutes. So if you haven't um, seen this video and you're watching on catch up, you can fast forward to five minutes um, but uh, while we have people on while we have people viewing um, just say hi in the comments to let me know that you can hear me uh, let me know where you are um, you can always message me personally um, I'm a, a born-again Christian Bible believing Christian spirit-filled Christian I believe a God in a God that that answers prayers and works miracles so if you want prayer uh, message me, put comments on there. If I have time, I shall pray for you today. Uh, pray for yourself, pray for a miracle. Um, and, uh, and yeah, uh, just let me know who you are. Give me some encouragement uh, and I in, t in turn will give you some encouragement in God's word today. So we're still three minutes and I still haven't um, had any comments up there. Perhaps you can't hear me. Um, let me see if I can... Um, get on and, and put anything up there to see whether it's working or not. I'm not sure whether it is. Not sure. Let's just see. Right. Bit of a test really, isn't it? I've been on there for four minutes now. I would like to get a little bit of a response to see things are working okay. Yep. See, I am all new at these things. Um, and then I can kick off and share with something. Share something for you and hope it will bless you and encourage you. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything at the moment, so I'm not sure what, what the scenario is with this here. Maybe I have to refresh. Come 
more Pokemon in the game, not sure. It's five minutes in. Okay, well I'm just going to go ahead and share with you um, what's been put on my heart. Um, yeah, it says in the Bible that um, God will never leave you nor forsake you. It's one of the God's promises. And um, you might say to me, well, you know, these promises are well, uh, well and done, but how do we know that they're, um, you know, he keeps his promise? Well, God never changes. It tells us that, um, um, I, I, well, he even says so in uh, Malachi 3, 6. He says, I am uh, the Lord who does not change. And I know that he doesn't change and I know that he keeps his promises because he's never broken any promise that he's made to me and he's never broken any promise that I've read about in scripture. Whoop, this is my Bible in here. And um, he has so many uh, promises. In fact, when I Googled it, there was over 8,000 promises, some were saying, and there's over 5,000 divine promises. And if you've uh, read your Bible, um, there's lots of prophecy, things which have been written before Jesus uh, came and all those came to pass. There's nothing that has not yet come to pass. Uh, and so he's a, a God of his word. In fact, um, he, he can't change. He, he can't do anything. There's only one thing he can't do, and that is lie. So this promise um, do not be afraid, do not be terrified of them, for the Lord your God goes with you, he will never leave you nor forsake you. That is in Deuteronomy 31 6 in the Old Testament. And, and that promise of that he will never leave you nor forsake you is also mirrored in Hebrews 13 5. And it says here, keep your lives free from the love of money, to be content with what you have, because God has said, Never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. Now, why have I drawn this particular promise of God out? Uh, because, well, really, um, it was a promise that really struck out to me when I first um, looked and started reading the Bible. Um, I suppose it forms part of my testimony, and, and I, I probably uh, swung my uh, commitment to Jesus, to God, the Lord. And at the time, um, I was a single parent with um, three children, and I'd been, uh, at that time, I'd, I felt like I'd been left, I'd been abandoned to raise these three children with Paul on my own, and I wasn't in a particularly um, good place financially, I wasn't in a, uh, 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 a good place emotionally, because this person that I'd put my trust in, my husband, uh, somehow he'd, I felt like he'd abandoned me. And uh, previous to that, um, I've had boyfriends um, and perhaps you've had the same experience where you've had relationships and, and those, those relationships are broken down, it hasn't come to fruition and you felt like you've been abandoned and you can't put your trust in, in a, that particular person again. Well, really, I was in that, that uh, frame of mind and I cried out and I said, you know, why, why, why me, why leave me with my three children? And it wasn't, it wasn't until I was reading scripture and reading the Bible and I discovered this God here that we have doesn't break his promises and doesn't change his mind or his word. And he said that I am a God and I, uh, I uh, 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 can be your God. You put your trust in me and I will never leave you nor forsake you like perhaps the people of this world. So I, I took that on board and I put my trust in, in the Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ and um, he, I can testify that he's never left me, never forsaken me in the slightest in my walk with him to the current day. So I thought that was quite a good uh, uh, promise to start with. Now as we, as we read the scripture in Deuteronomy, it uh, mentioned, um, do not be afraid or terrified because of them. Well, these are the people that um, uh, were oppressing um, the Israelites, were oppressing the, uh, Israel. And it says, for the Lord your God goes with you. Okay, then he said, he will never leave you nor forsake you. So this was a promise for Israel because they were going through challenges like I was going through challenges in my life. And he was sent to remind her that 
he will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He's always going to be there for them and he'll always be there for you. So let that be an encouragement for you if you, like me, have been in this situation or uh, in that situation now or possibly a situation that is to come, you know, that, you know, God, if you look to him, if you turn to him, if you put your trust in him, he can take you in that situation. He can, you know, protect you and he will uh, uh, um, be with you for all time and he will never leave you nor forsake you. Now the one, the scripture I read in Hebrews 13:5, said, keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have because God has said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. Now this is a, um, a different scenario. Um, it's not, um, uh, it's the same thing in the respect that he'll never leave us nor forsake us, okay, but it's having confidence in something else, okay, echoes the same sentiment, but here it's saying to us, do not have confidence in, for example, the love of money. So, uh, in today's um, living, in today's word, uh, world, sometimes we put our trust in other things, we could put our trust in uh, uh, people um, that that not always <laughs> can work out we can put our trust in a, a job we can put a trust in a reputation we can trust put our trust in a family member there's lots of things we can put our trust in like money finances <laughs> we can only see in the present situation that we're in at the moment okay really can we put our trust in can we put our trust in I'll let you fill in the blanks. I don't want no hate here, okay? But one thing we can put our trust in, and what God's trying to encourage us here, is to put our trust in Him. Put our trust in Him because He is the one that will never forsake you, he won't change His mind, won't go back on His word. Yeah, He will never leave you nor forsake you. Now, some of you uh, watching today might think, well, what does this, this word forsake mean? Okay, you'll know what never leave means, okay, because often we've, we've been left, we know what that means, but what does forsake mean? Well, it actually means to leave them entirely, usually in a moment of need. And again, that goes back to the two pieces of scripture we've, let, we, we've previously read. He will never leave you in that moment of need if we put our trust in him. In fact, if we look at the Hebrew word forsake, that meant... Uh, abandon, desert, lay aside or reject and that is how really how I felt when I put my trust in Jesus for the first time I did, I felt abandoned, I felt desolate as if I'd been deserted I felt like I'd been pushed to one side and I felt rejected but you know God will never do this. He will never reject you. He will never abandon you, desert you, or push you to one side. John uh, 3.16 says he, he sent his son Jesus, you know, his only son, his only begotten son, so that we can have life and life eternal if we put our trust in him. So it's not just uh, for me. It's not just for somebody else down the road, somebody else who perhaps... Uh, you, th you might think they're good enough, it's for everybody, no matter what they are, no matter what skin colour, no matter what race, no matter what denomination, no matter uh, their upbringing, uh, no matter how old, no matter how young, okay, it's for everybody. Um, so I'm just looking at the comments here, oh bless you Amy, <laughs> thank you, um, I, I take it that you can hear me and, um, and everything's going okay, uh, thank you for your comments. Um, yeah, um, you see, God's uh, unchangeable. Unfortunately, that is bad news for people who sin because God cannot overlook sin. But it is good news for those who trust him. You see, he cannot fail to keep his promises, to forgive us and protect us forever. God... He's never, ever, ever changing. God is always wanting to be with us, always wanting to help us, you know. And 
you might feel that, well, God has never been there for me. I don't feel God or I've never heard from God. But you know what? I think most of the times it's because we've been the one that's been pushing God away. We've been the one that's been rejecting him. We've been the one that's not been willing to open up and say, help me, you know, restore me, um, bring me to that place of restoration. And I know it is difficult because once we've been hurt, we don't want to be hurt again. We can be very vulnerable. But let me tell you, let me reassure you, but this, this God that I know, okay, this God that I know is ever powerful and ever capable and he never changes. He'll always want to be with you. He'll always love you and he will never leave you and he will never forsake you no matter what situation that you're in. So just put your trust in him. If you need him and you want him, open your arms and accept him and things will never be the same again. Amen. Well, I hope that's been a blessing to you. Um, thank you for the comments. Hi, everybody who's been listening. I'm going to do another one uh, next Sunday at two o'clock. Um, I'll do another promise of God. Uh, and in the meantime, if you want prayer, message me. You can always put a message on there um, later on. I'll, I'll review the um, video so that um, I can pray for you. You can uh, personal message me on Facebook. Um, if you uh, want anything else like um, prophesying over you or a dream interpretation, um, you know, just be, get in contact. Questions and answers. If you want to ask me something, I'll answer the question. Um, I'll either do it on the live feed if it's a, a, a short, succinct um, question uh, and response. But if it's something a little bit more uh, in depth, I'm happy to do that. I'm excited to do that. I'm willing to do that. And I will um, perhaps make that um, a questions and answer session. So thank you for sharing the time with me. Thank you for being with me. And um, just before I go, I'll quickly pray and I'll catch you next week. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that you know you are a god that doesn't change you're the same today you're the same yesterday you're the same forever thank you lord that you want to be a part of our lives thank you lord that you want to have a relationship with us thank you lord that your love is so infinite that you want to you want to see us change you want to see us uh, um, upheld you don't want to see us uh, 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 bound and in pain and you want that freedom to, to, to be expressed in joy and peace uh, and comfort. And Lord, we just want to thank you, Lord, that, you know, having that relationship, asking you into our lives, Lord, will fulfill that need, Lord Jesus. So I just pray right now for those people who are watching, those people who perhaps are going to watch in the future, Lord Jesus, that, Lord, that they will have a new encounter with you, Lord. They'll open themselves up to you, Lord Jesus. They will, uh, you will speak to them, you will, you will supply their needs, just as you said in, in, in scripture, Lord Jesus. And Lord, I just pray, Lord, you'll bless them and you'll uh, um, give them that peace and reassurance in what they need. Amen. See you next week.